Devarim, Deuteronomy 18. The priests, the Leviim, and all the tribe of Levi shall have no part nor inheritance with Yasharael. They shall eat the offerings of Yahuwah made by fire and his inheritance. Therefore shall they have no inheritance among their brethren. Yahuwah is their inheritance, as he had says, rather as he has said unto them. And this shall be the priests due from the people, from them that offer a sacrifice, whether it be ox or sheep, and they shall give unto the priest the shoulder and the two cheeks and the maw. The first fruit also of your grain, of your wine, and of your oil, and the first of the fleece of your sheep shall you give him. For Yahuwah Eloheka has chosen him out of all your tribes to stand, to minister in the name of Yahuwah, him and his sons forever. And if a Levi come from any of your gates out of all Yashadael, where he sojourned, and come with all the desire of his mind unto the place which Yahuwah shall choose, then he shall minister in the name of Yahuwah Elohayu, rather Yahuwah Eloheyu, as all his brethren the Leviim do, which stand there before Yahuwah. They shall have like portions to eat, beside that which comes of the sale of his patrimony. When you are come into the land which Yahuwah Eloheka gives you, you shall not learn to do after the abominations of those nations. There shall not be found among you anyone that makes his son or his daughter to pass through the fire, or that uses divination, or one that practices sorcery, or an enchanter, or a witch, or a charmer, or a consulter with familiar spirits, or a wizard, or a necromancer. For all that do these things are an abomination unto Yahuwah. Because of these abominations, Yahuwah Eloheka drives them out from before you. You shall be perfect with Yahuwah Eloheka. For these nations which you shall possess hearkened unto sorcerers and unto div diviners. But as for you, Yahuwah Eloheka has not suffered you so to do. Yahuwah Eloheka will raise up unto you a prophet from the midst of you, of your brethren, like unto me. Unto him ye shall hearken. According to all that you desired of Yahuwah Eloheka in Chorev, in the day of the assembly, saying, Let me not hear again at the voice of Yahuwah Elohai, neither let me see at this great fire any more, that I die not. And Yahuwah said unto me, They have well spoken that which they have spoken. I will raise them up a prophet from among their brethren, like unto you, and will put my words in his mouth. And he shall speak unto them at all that I shall command him. And it shall come to pass that whosoever will not hearken unto my words 
which he shall speak in my name. I will require it of him. But the prophet, which shall presume to speak a word in my name, at which I have not commanded him to speak, or that shall speak in the name of other Elohim, even that prophet shall die. And if you say in your heart, how shall we know at the word which Yahuwah has not spoken? When a prophet speaks in the name of Yahuwah, if the thing follow not, nor come to pass, that is the thing which Yahuwah has not spoken. But the prophet has spoken it presumptuously. You shall not be afraid of him.